My lovely elegant ladies, welcome back to another video. My name is Vivian, the founder of Woman of Elegance, which is a platform where I teach women globally how to become elegant, sophisticated and classy ladies. Afternoon tea is such an elegant pre-dining experience because it really just takes away some of the formalities associated with dining at fine restaurants in the evenings, for example. Afternoon tea is a very quintessentially British activity because it allows you to indulge in some light bites and treats before dinner. Also, there's a royal afternoon tea that is served with champagne if you're that way inclined, ladies. Now, ladies, let's speak about what to wear to afternoon tea. Now, afternoon tea is not so much of a formal event, but neither is this informal. And this is reflected in the kinds of environments that it's held at, for example, high-end hotels. There are some beautiful hotels in London that serve wonderful afternoon tea. Among my favourites are Claridge's, The Ritz and The Langham Hotel. I would not advise to wear anything such as ripped jeans and definitely not trainers. Something such as a skater dress, a shift dress, or if you do opt to wear jeans, then accompany it with a classy blazer. A tip for the gentleman, always wear a jacket. Ladies, as tea is the primary ingredient at an afternoon tea, there are many different kinds to choose from. These range from black teas, white teas and green teas. However, ladies, coffee is not served, so please don't request this. You certainly don't need to be a tea connoisseur to know what teas to choose, but since it's free flowing, just feel free to choose any ones that attract you. You will have a napkin with cutlery and a plate, a cup with a saucer and a tea strainer. You will also be given sugar with tongs, a pot of cold milk and a small saucer with lemon slices. Now ladies, I want you to think carefully about the setup. Because the setting is immaculate and the crockery is delicate, it can be a little bit shambolic when everybody is pouring tea for themselves, especially when there are different teas to choose from and everybody is reaching across the table. This is why it's important that one person is designated to pour tea for each individual. This is normally the guest of honour or the host, i.e. the person who arranged the afternoon tea. The tea is served as loose leaf tea rather than tea bags. This means that your strainer will be placed gently on top of your cup and this will catch any loose leaves that might fall into your cup. Green and white teas are served on its own and not drunk with any lemon, sugar or milk. You will notice that afternoon royal teas and high teas are served with a very extensive selection of tea. Many of these teas are seasonal and very expensive and hard to attain. Adding condiments to this will really cheapen and mask the rich flavours inherent in the tea and you will not experience the finesse of the tea. Also, it will make you look a little bit amateur because not all teas are consumed the same way. When serving the tea, it's important to ask each guest if they want any additions to their tea, for example, milk, sugar or lemon. Once they specify what they want, it's important to add the sugar in first prior to the milk and the lemon. Let's move on to the food. The food will be served on a three-tiered rack. The bottom will have a selection of sandwiches, the middle will be scones wrapped in napkins and the third will be small desserts. Sometimes though, the scones will be served on top and sometimes the rack will be served in two parts. The first one will be savouries, i.e. sandwiches, and once those have been consumed, then the desserts and scones will be served. It just depends on the establishments. Now let's go on to talk about the sandwiches. In a hotel, these will be cut into rectangular pieces, like so, but in a private residence, these will be cut into square bite-sized pieces. So of course, you will not use cutlery to eat this. However, in a hotel, as these are served as finger sandwiches, you should take the sandwich from the rack, place into your plate and cut in half using your knife and fork. Never tear the sandwich apart or consume the whole sandwich using your knife and fork as you would a whole meal. 
If all the food is served on one rack, then it's important to allow everyone to finish eating their sandwiches before moving on to the scones and the desserts. Remember that afternoon tea is not a stomach filler. It's important to enjoy the time and the association when you are indulging in afternoon tea. Now ladies, it's time to eat. It's essential that you use your napkins properly or you could risk making a mess. You will be given a cotton napkin that should be folded in a triangle and placed in your lap. Ensure that the lips of the napkin, i.e. the opening, is placed towards you. This will allow you to open up the lips, like so, and dab your mouth should you get any crumbs on it. It will also allow you to discreetly hide lipstick and food stains inside the napkin because these are unpleasant when on display. Place the strainer over your cup and then pour the tea into your cup. This is designed to ensure no loose leaves fall into your cup. It could make your tea bitter to the taste if this happens. Place the strainer back inside the cup. If required, pick up a sugar cube and drop it inside the cup. Do not plod it in the middle because this will create a splash and noise. Instead, place it by the side of the cup so it gently slides in. Take your teaspoon and stir your sugar in a back and forth motion. Think of it as a clock, 12 to 6 and vice versa. Never stir it round and round. Take your teaspoon and place it behind the cup. Now ladies, if you want to add milk to your tea, ensure that you don't pour tea towards the rim because this will create a spillage. Add your tea three quarters of the way to make room for the milk. If you are at a table, do not lift your cup and your saucer. This should only be done when you're standing up and mingling, for example, at a polo match or a networking event or an auction, for example. But as this is afternoon tea and you'll be seated at a table, this does not apply. When drinking your cup, don't tilt your head back and gulp the tea. Bring the tea towards you and drink. Look inside the teacup and not in front of you. This will allow you to focus on what you are doing. When you are holding your cup, this should be done correctly. This is simple. Take your cup, put your index finger inside the handle and then your three fingers should be used to support the cup. Now ladies, we are going to be speaking about scones and desserts. You will always be served scones with your afternoon tea. Do not use a knife to cut your scone because this can become very messy. It will get all over the table, on your clothes, so don't do this. Instead, we break the scone in half. You will always be served clotted cream and jam with your scone. This is optional. However, ladies, if you do decide to have this, please ensure that it is done correctly by scooping the condiments onto your plates first. Some people prefer to put the cream prior to the jam and vice versa. However, ladies, it doesn't really matter what way it goes on. I personally like to put my cream on before the jam, a bit like putting butter on before jam when I'm buttering my toast. Now ladies, let's speak about the final part and the most fun part of the meal, the desserts. Now, ordinarily, you'll be given a miniature selection of desserts. You can use your fingers to eat these, but it is ladylike to use your knife and fork because you don't want to get sticky fingers and then having to find ways to clean it up. It just gets a little bit messy and annoying. So, you should simply cut the dessert in half to make it more manageable to eat. When placing your cutlery back on the plate, do not do the robocop, i.e. knife and fork either side of the plate. Place the cutlery back on the plate as a pair, like so. Once you have finished eating, place your napkin on the table to indicate to the waiter that you've finished and they should come and clear the table. If you have not finished eating and you wish to vacate the table, please place your napkin on the chair, which indicates that you will be returning. Ladies, I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's inspired you to observe proper etiquette the next time you are enjoying afternoon tea. So until next time, bye for now.